So today we're looking at Nissan. Now if you're not familiar with these videos, we're just opening up the filter, laying the components out on a bench, and going over what each component does. We'll even compare them to other filters that we've opened up in the past. At least it gives you a pretty good idea what you can expect from this. Now we will be giving away one of these filters for free. If you want to enter the contest, just leave a clean comment in the comment box below. After one week, we'll pick a winner and we'll ship this right out to you. Now one nice feature with the Nissan is that they do include a new drain washer. Now many manufacturers do not include this. So that is a really nice feature that you have a new washer to go along with your new filter. And this is also very nicely priced, around seven and a half dollars if you have Amazon Prime. You can have this within two days and uh, you'll be good to go. Now let me just cut open this filter and we'll see what we're working with here. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a stamped piece of steel. And what this does is it keeps the filter nicely compact. All the components are nicely compact inside the filter. This just presses down on it. The flip side of this is a coil spring, something like this. And the coil spring you'll find, for example, on the Champion oil filter we did last week. But I prefer the coil spring to me. It's a little bit higher quality. Um, to me, it just looks like it'll fail, never fail in a sense. I'm sure this works perfectly fine as well. I just prefer the coil spring. That's just that, that's just me. Taking a look at the filter, we have metal end caps, which is a nice plus. Not every filter has metal end caps. Uh, your Fram Extra Guard has these cardboardish end caps. Uh, Subaru does not run metal end caps, so that's a nice feature to have. Right on top of here is your bypass valve. The whole point behind this valve is if this ever clogs or if the flow is inhibited this little valve would open up and unfiltered oil would still circulate back into the engine so that's the whole point behind this little valve every filter has it I, I believe it's a requirement by the manufacturer uh, this is made in Mexico if you take a look again metal end caps the center tube is metal as well looks to be very nicely made very very little gluing as you can see We'll do a, a measurement on the square inches in a moment. It looks to be very nicely made. Regarding the media, it's most likely a blend of polyester, cellulose, uh, fiberglass. On your higher end filters, this will be synthetic. Now, the, the reason why synthetic is superior is because synthetic has a, allows for a higher flow rate and it captures smaller contaminants. I don't know the micron rating on this. My guess is maybe 25 to 30 microns. Uh, micron rating is really hard to find sometimes unless the manufacturer lists it. Uh, sometimes you have to call them up, the manufacturer. But uh, the main thing I always say is just change the oil when you're supposed to. So for this, uh, for this Nissan filter, it really depends on which Nissan model you have. So just check the owner's manual. But as a rule of thumb, I did check a number of them. Seems like this is good up to six months or 7,500 miles. If you're towing, stop and go traffic then they recommend every three months or 3700 miles but this is used for the 350z 370z maxima murano rogue so there's a number of models that that this works for but just check your owner's manual just to see when they recommend to uh, replace it but this, this looks to be very nicely made one other nice point is this guy right here this is your anti drain back valve now what this does when you turn off the engine of your vehicle instead of having all of the oil flow out of the oil filter this prevents oil or this retains the oil inside the filter so you don't have a dry start the next time you start your vehicle That's the whole point behind it so this keeps the oil in the filter when you turn off the engine on your lower or your cheaper oil filters your Fram Extra Guard your Blue Can STP your Pure Leader Classic which is their cheapest oil filter you'll find something like this. This is nitrile rubber. So this is rubber, this is silicone. The reason why you want silicone is because it can withstand higher temperatures and lower temperatures better than the rubber. So that's a nice fact or a nice plus that Nissan does provide a silicone anti-drain back valve. I, this is a nice filter, I have to admit. You get the silicone anti-drain back valve. I really like the fact that you get, that they give you the washer for the drain plug. That's a really nice thing to have. And if you want to take a look at the base plate again, this is most likely nitrile rubber. Uh, some filters, they'll use silicone on the gasket. 
Pure Later One and also Pure Later Boss. They use a uh, a better gasket regarding that. But again, you know, I've been fooling around with cars for over 20 years. As long as you change the oil when you're supposed to, I've never had an issue. To be quite honest. And of course, when you change the oil, put a little dab of clean oil on the gasket, and that prevents any leaks. And also, one other thing, I just want to point it out. This the cap is also quite strong. The can, I'm sorry. It's quite strong. Last week when I opened up the Champion, I noted how strong the can is. And so is this. Very, very nicely made. Really, really nice. Just to give you an example, this was the Subaru we did a couple weeks ago. A little bit more flimsy compared to these other caps. So, again, that's nice just because if uh, it not only is the burst pressure higher, but the puncture rate is a lot better, so it's a lot thicker. So I tell you, this is a, for seven and a half bucks. I think it's a very nice filter. So I'm measuring 60 square inches worth of surface area, and that seems just about right, just because I've done other measurements for my Nissan Maxima. In other words, using other filter brands, and I've come up with pretty much the same surface area. One last thing is, as you can see, this is not wire backed. If you want a wire back filter, then you'll need something like Wix XP and Soil Royal Purple. So that's what a Nissan oil filter is all about. For the money, I think you get a lot. It's a really thick shell, really, really nice thick shell. You get the silicone anti-drain back valve, a good number on the square inches, 60 square inches of surface area, nicely constructed. For seven and a half bucks, if you have a Nissan, you're using a Nissan filter, I think you'd be in good shape. So I think next week we'll do Toyota or uh, STP Max Life or maybe something else. We'll see. I'll see what I can get in here by then. And uh, again, if you want to enter that contest, just leave a clean comment in the comment box. And uh, we'll see you next time.